Gorsi's music world. They're singing in history and musical literacy. Mr. Gorsi's music world. We're living the dream starts here. Hi, and welcome to Mr. Dorsey's Music World Kindergarten Music Lesson number six. What are we going to do today? Let's find out. We are going to be working on several activities today. The first, while warming up our voice with pitch exploration. Then we're going to do a movement activity with my hat. It has three corners. A call and response song all around the kitchen. Our beat motion activity is bounce high, bounce low. We're going to play a beat game. Then we're going to do an African-American spiritual, get on board, little children. We're going to move it to Anitra's dance. We're going to create in Singing Park. And our story song today is the green grass grew all around. Okay, let's follow the line with our voice. Let's try it. Ooh. 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 My hat, it has three corners. Three corners has my hat. And had it not three corners, it would not be my hat. Echo after me. My hat, it has three corners. Three corners has my hat. And had it not three corners. It would not be my hat. My hat, it has three corners. Three corners has my hat. And had it not three corners. It would not be my hat. Okay, let's try it together. One, two, ready and sing. My hat, it has three corners. Three corners has my hat. And had it not three corners. It would not be my hat. Now, there's a game that goes with this that's a lot of fun. You have to sing the song several times. Well, that's easy, Mr. Dorsey. Wait. The first time you sing it all together, you sing all the lyrics or the words. The second time, you take out a word and you have to sing all the words except for that word. I'm going to sing the song the way the game is supposed to be played. And you follow along. And what you should probably do is go back and watch this section a couple times. Because the more you do it, the easier it will get. Okay? Here we go. My hat, it has three corners. Three corners has my hat. And had it not three corners... It would not be my hat. My hat, it has corners. Corners has my hat. And had it not corners, it would not be my hat. My hat, it has... Has my hat. And had it not, it would not be my hat. My, it has, has my, 
and had it not, it would not be my. It has. Has. And had it not, it would not be. <laughs> All right, so go back and do this section a couple times and see how good you get at it. All around the kitchen, cock a doodle doodle do. All around the kitchen, cock a doodle doodle do. Now stop right still, cock a doodle doodle do. Put your hands on your hips, cock a doodle doodle do. Let your right foot slip, cock a doodle doodle do. Then do it like this cock a doodle doodle do all around the kitchen cock a doodle doodle do all around the kitchen cock a doodle doodle do today's call and response song is all around the kitchen it's an african-american game song your response is cock a doodle doodle do so listen and echo cock a doodle doodle do So no matter what I sing, the call or the leader, your response is cock a doodle doodle do. And I'm going to show you some cool movements we can do with this activity as well. All right. All around the kitchen. All around the kitchen Now stop right still Put your hands on your hips Let your right foot slip Then do it like this All around the kitchen All around the kitchen now stop right still Put your hands on your hips Let your right foot slip Then do it like this All around the kitchen All around the kitchen And sit down Bounce, high, bounce, low, bounce the ball to shy, low, bounce, high, bounce, low, bounce the ball to shy, low. So this is our beat motion song for today, bounce high, bounce low. So it's pretty self-explanatory, bounce high, bounce low, you're going to bounce something, probably a ball. Shy low is a boy's name. It's a Hebrew word that means peace, like peace, like being nice to each other, not a piece of cake, although that would have been good too. All right, so let's learn this, and then I'll show you how to play this game. Bounce high, bounce low, bounce the ball to shy low. Okay, echo after me again. Bounce high, bounce low. Bounce the ball to shy low. Bounce high, bounce low. Bounce the ball to shy low. Okay, now let's sing it together two times. One, two, ready and sing. Bounce high, bounce low. Bounce the ball to shy low. 
Bounce high, bounce low, bounce the ball to Shiloh. Okay, so I have a rubber ball, but of course I've just found out that this ball does not bounce too well. <laughs> oh boy. So, how you would normally play this game is you would drop the ball. You wouldn't, right, you're going to let it bounce. And the next person on the bounce would pick it up. Now, to play it by yourself, obviously, you would just, you could bounce it to yourself. So, if you have a rubber ball or something, on the word bounce, you drop it. Bounce, high, bounce, low, bounce the ball to shy. And then on the word shy, low. So, that's on the beat. So, again, <laughs> I can't really... Uh, can't really demonstrate it for you, and I don't have any more bouncy balls. And of course, with uh, COVID-19, can't really go out to a store and get one right now. So we're just going to have to pretend that uh, we're able to do this, right? All right. Oh, boy. So here we go. Bounce high, bounce low, bounce the ball to shy low, bounce High, bounce, low, bounce the ball to shy, low. Oh boy. All right, let's keep going. It's time to stand up and move. When you are playing the Keeping the Beat game, remember that while the music is playing, you can move around however you want. However, when the music stops, you need to keep the beat by clapping your hands. Get on board, little children, get on board. Little children, get on board. Little children, there's room for many a more. So I'm going to teach you the refrain to get on board. It's originally called the gospel train. We usually call it get on board now because that's what's in the refrain. But the song it was originally called the gospel train. It was first published in a book over 150 years ago, and it used to be performed around the country by the Fisk Jubilee Singers from Fisk University in Nashville, Tennessee. And they were one of the first groups to tour the United States as well as in Europe and bring African-American spirituals and other type songs uh, to the wider public. So that's just a little uh, trivia for you. For you kindergartners. So, echo after me. Get on board. Little children. So we sing that three times. And then the last line goes like this. There's room for many a more. Now you want to pay careful attention to this song because you're going to hear a lot of songs over the next couple years that are African-American songs in nature and other American songs that follow that pattern. You sing the same thing three times, and then the fourth time you sing something different. Okay? So here is the refrain or the repeated section of the song. Echo after me. Get on board, little children. 
Get on board, little children. Get on board, little children. There's room for many a more. Okay, let's sing it together. One, two, three, get on board, little children, get on board, little children, get on board, little children, there's room for many a more. Let's do it one last time. One, two, three, get on board, little children, get on board. Little children, get on board. Little children, there's room for many a more. Okay, so what's going to happen, boys and girls, is you're going to sing that part, the refrain, or the repeated section of a song, three times. And in between those three times, Mr. Dorsey is going to sing some verses, or parts of songs that only happen once. Get on board, little children, get on board, little children, get on board, little children, there's room for many a more. The gospel trains are coming, I hear it just at hand, I hear the car wheels moving and rumbling through the land. Get on board, little children, get on board, little children, get on board. singing part it's such a place to see come along and sing along with all your friends and me 
Welcome to Singing Park, where you can only sing. Watch this video for today's question and examples about how to answer it. What is your favorite animal? A cat. What is your favorite animal? I like cats. What is your favorite animal? My favorite animal is a cat. What is your favorite animal? I like cats. I have two cats at home and I like to pet them. So as you are trying this at home, if you can only do a one or two word answer right now, that's fine. But try to work up to a full sentence or even longer. Because the better you do it, the smarter you'll get. Now it's your turn to answer what is your favorite animal. I'm going to ask it four times so that you can practice coming up with different answers. You can use the same animal, but try to make your answers different and longer, different ways of saying it. Okay, here we go. <laughs> what is your favorite animal? 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 Great job, boys and girls. It's time to move on. Today's story song is The Green Grass Grew All Around. Oh, in the woods, there was a tree, the prettiest little tree that you ever did see. The tree was in the hole, and the hole was in the ground, and the green grass grew all around, all around, and the green grass grew all around. Oh, on that tree, there was a limb, the prettiest little limb that you ever did see. The limb was on the tree, and the tree was in the hole, and the hole was in the ground, and the green grass grew all around, all around, and the green grass grew all around. Oh, on that limb, there was a branch, the prettiest little branch that you ever did see. The branch was on the limb and the limb was on the tree and the tree was in the hole and the hole was in the ground and the green grass grew around all around and the green grass grew all around. Oh, on that branch there was a nest, the pretty little nest that you ever did see. The nest was on the branch, and the branch was on the limb, and the limb was on the tree, and the tree was in the hole, and the hole was in the ground, and the green grass grew all around, all around, and the green grass grew all around. Oh, in that nest, there was an egg, the prettiest little egg that you ever did see. 
egg was in the nest, and the nest was on the branch, and the branch was on the limb, and the limb was on the tree, and the tree was in the hole, a hole was in the ground, and the green grass grew all around, all around, and the green grass grew all around. Oh, on that egg, there was a bird, the prettiest little bird that you ever did see. The bird was on the egg, and the egg was in the nest, and the nest was on the branch, and the branch was on the limb, and the limb was on the tree, and the tree was in the hole, and the hole was in the ground. Woo! And the green grass grew all around, all around, and the green grass grew all around. And the green grass grew all around, all around, and the green grass grew all around. That's it for Mr. Dorsey's Music World today. Remember that living the dream starts here. Take care. Mr. Dorsey's Music World. We're singing in history and musical literacy. Mr. Dorsey's Music World.